Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to do a little quick uh, video here for you on some roof framing and Xactimate sketch. Uh, and this time it's going to be about partial hip framing. So what can you do in Xactimate to calculate your roof framing when you don't need to frame that entire roof? Let's look at these couple of examples here. Maybe you have a hip that gets clipped by a tree uh, in the corner damaging two of the slopes. or maybe something that just hit on one edge, you definitely don't need to do the entire slope. Or definitely not the entire roof. So let's take a look at what we could do here in Xactimate to sketch and do construction framing from within that sketch when you don't need to do the entire roof. Okay, so one of the questions I get asked a bunch is, well, when you do construction framing on a roof, what would happen if I only needed to go ahead and do a portion of this roof? Maybe, maybe a tree came across right here and damaged the two slopes on this hip right here, but did not damage anything on the rear portion of this hip or obviously these other sides of this extension right here. Is it impossible to go ahead and do that in Xactimate? So let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, framing, and I'll turn my framing on. And you'll see on this roof here over to the right, <clears throat> when I'm spinning around, it had me, when I turned on framing, it had me actually frame that entire hip roof because by default you cannot frame just one slope on a hip, or uh, one portion of it. But if we look at this other roof over here, you see I was able to go ahead and grab just an individual section of my roof to do a reframe. So what I'm going to show you today is how you would accomplish that feat. So if we're looking at it here in plan view, you see I did just this slope and this slope versus this entire roof. Okay, so I'll turn off framing here for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete everything out of here and we'll start from scratch. So again, if I go ahead and try and just drop in a roof and I want to select just one slope, you'll notice I can't select just this one end slope right here. Xactimate won't allow that to happen. So that's preventing me from just framing that one section. If I do a gable, similar thing happens. I can't do just a uh, section on this gable roof I have to do the entire roof so what you would want to do is let's go ahead and drop us in basically a flat roof and first thing I'm going to do is decide what's the pitch of my hip roof so let's just say I have a 712 uh, pitch on my hip so I'm going to go ahead and on my flat roof here I'm going to go ahead and lock in my pitch at 7 and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and drag this. I'm going to say we're at, um, we'll make this uh, 30 foot long. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to drag my corners in on 45s. And basically create myself a hip end. Now I do want to go ahead and move my overhangs out because there's not actually an overhang there obviously okay the only overhang I should have would be on this outer portion right here so what I'll do is I'm going to now copy that and paste that into here okay and then I'm going to take this grim holder here and I will grab this and drag it out to basically hold this at a 90. I'm going to copy this, paste this, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip that vertically there so I can then turn around and drag that in. I'm going to need 
here. And then what I'll do is I'll drag these to line them up. Okay, so I basically created myself a hip or a half hip at this point. Now if I need to go ahead and just change out whatever length of this hip I want to, I'll make my adjustments here based on whatever length I want it to be. Okay. So I've kind of got my hip the size of what it is that I'm going to want to replace. <clears throat> and then from here I can go ahead and just um, basically create myself another hip. I can either use by copying and pasting these and bringing them over, or I could go ahead and just do myself another right here. Again, we want to set that pitch to whatever it needs to be, and we say we're making this a seven. And again, I want to get rid of my overhangs here and here. Okay. And then we can go ahead and drag this out to whatever length it needs to be. And if we end up having a hip on this other end, I'll drag this to the 45 as well. I we just need to line these up. Okay. And then I can take this, copy that, copy that. Flip that vertically as well. And there. So you'll see how I just basically continue using flat roofs to build my own hip. But what I've done is allowed myself to now separate uh, which portions of this roof that I do want to go ahead and actually frame up. So I'm going to go ahead and make these all combined as one roof. I can call this main hip. And really for these other roofs here, I could select all of these individually. We'll go to properties and we'll tell it we don't want to show labels there. So we only have that one label on the roof. And then if I wanted to go ahead and actually bring in another hip down here, we're going to set this one real quick to the seven as well. What I could do here is pull this in to make my complete hip. that label and we'll make it a subgroup as well so looking at that in 3D I've basically got myself a hip right here so at that point if I wanted to go ahead and frame just say this section and this section it gives me the ability now to just select whatever slopes it is that need to be framed. I can come in here and for construction I'm going to say I'm stick framed. Make whatever adjustments I might need to my materials list. And if we look at this in 3D view, we'll come out here and show our framing. You'll see I was able to just go ahead and frame just specific sections of that roof. Now at this point, whatever section I said I needed to do, it did the calculations for me based on how I drew it up. Again, I just had to draw it up basically in sections and join them all as one roof. So that's how you would go ahead and um, do construction framing when you just need to do a portion of a hip roof uh, by using flat roofs, change the pitches, create your own slopes, and then turn on the individual framing for each of those. Okay, hope that helped.